going on guys so uh today i want to talk about the benchmade serum this is the model 5400 unfortunately this knife is discontinued i got this a little while back in a trade and you guys know i love interesting mechanisms and one of my uh, favorite of all time on uh, knives are dual action knives so a dual action knife opens both manually as well as automatically and in most cases the automatic function is somewhat hidden right so I have to go back in time here for a moment because, uh, you know, back in, I want to say, I don't know, the early 90s to mid 90s, right? Before like kind of assisted knives were really popular, you know, and the, the Kershaw spring assisted knife was like the thing to have. It was the coolest thing in the world because back then you couldn't really carry automatic knives. So everything was kind of manual, right? Um, but when they came out with the spring assisted knife, uh, design it was like having an automatic knife right it was so easy to shoot that blade out but it was still legal you know and it caused a lot of complications of course in, in different you know districts and areas where people are like oh it's an automatic knife no it's not because here's the definition of an automatic knife and, and so forth right but it was like a really cool thing for the knife world it's like wow i can have a legal automatic knife so you know these days there's plenty of autos out there um also there's plenty of people who just don't care about knife laws so they just carry whatever they want and that usually is fine, you know, I'm not condoning it, but I'm just saying it's, it's, uh, you know, if you're not doing anything wrong, there's no reason why anyone of authority should have any reason to care about what's in your pocket. Um, but that aside, of course, you know, we want to be law abiding citizens. I don't know why I put the box right here. I guess just to show you the box. It's a black box and there's the actual, uh, sticker on it. 5400 serum axis dual action. So anyway, um, yeah, the hidden uh, automatic feature was the coolest thing in the world. So a knife like this and actually similar, you know, dual action knives uh, were super popular. I remember one of my favorite knives of all time when I was younger, well, especially when I first got into Microtech, was the Microtech LCC. Right? It was a Greg Lightfoot design, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that had a bolster lock, all right? So it was basically dual action where you can open it manually, right, and close it. And then the actual bolster on here pivoted so when you pushed in the side of the bolster, it would shoot out automatically. I thought that was the bee's knees. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I thought it was so awesome because I was secretly hiding an automatic knife. And the idea was that if someone were to take the knife and say, hey, is that an automatic knife? Not that they would even ask that question because there was no button on it. You wouldn't think it was automatic, but they would open it, close it, and it would work totally fine. All right, this is the same concept where it opens and closes manually. You can use the access lock to kind of flick it open if you want and all that. But even though there's, you know, regular movement in an access lock, how you would imagine, if you come to the bottom of the access lock and continue, even though there's a wall there, okay, it's like staging a trigger or something. When you get to the bottom, if you pull down even harder, look at that. It shoots out automatically. How cool is that, right? And as soon as you close it, you feel a little bit of that resistance. All right, by you're resetting the spring, but you can just go ahead and open it like a regular manual knife and no one's the wiser. But specifically with this access lock here, because people are so familiar with the access lock, you would not think anything of it, okay? It just, it moves, it slides, and then it stops. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't think, oh, if I pull this harder, maybe it'll shoot out automatically. The thought would never cross your mind. Now the dual action function itself aside, this is actually a fantastic user. All right, uh, I don't necessarily think it's like the coolest looking knife. You know, I don't, I don't always like like chunky handles and kind of slender blades. Um, so, you know, ideally I'd like either a fatter blade on this or just a slightly slimmer handle. But uh, sometimes the, the knives with the big old fat handles and the little blades seem to be the most uh, comfortable. The ergonomics are fantastic on this. There is a finger troll on here. It's all smooth on the inside of the handle, little jumping on the liners on the back. But I have to say, this thing melts in your hand. It gives you uh, a, a very secure grip because it's wider. It just, it just fits the hand really, really nicely. The blade is a slicing machine. You have a nice little notch in the bottom there, so it's easy to sharpen. A little finger, uh, or excuse me, blade choil there. Um, a high grind on it as well. This is in 154 cm. So, I mean, it really is a workhorse. This is a fantastic user, a really awesome EDC. But, you know, if you're one of the people out there that, uh, you know, have restrictions on automatic knives and, and you know, maybe you like the idea no one's got to know about, it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and I didn't say that, of course. Uh, obviously, you have to abide by all your uh, your local and uh, state laws and uh, federal laws. Uh, be a good citizen. Follow the laws. 
But uh, just saying, like here in Pennsylvania, I can totally legally own this. Uh, I'm not allowed to carry it, unfortunately. So of course I won't, you know that. But uh, it is a really, really cool knife. I think it's super underrated. This is a knife that I didn't even know about until maybe, I don't know, a year or two ago. I don't even know when this was in production. Um, but yeah, I just kind of stumbled across it. It was always on the radar. Someone happened to offer one and I jumped on it like that. I'm like, oh man, I gotta get one. Gotta get one because I want it for my uh, interesting knife mechanism collection, which you guys will eventually see. I have all kinds of knives in there. Expensive knives, cheap knives, everything in between, old knives, new knives, you name it. But I just like interesting knives, and this is a really awesome design, all right? I wish uh, Benjamin would do more dual action uh, models. I think they'd be super popular. Again, you could just open and close it manually. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, no one ever has to know that it's an automatic knife, right? Which, by the way, shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. It is completely ridiculous. I, I just, I get, like, I don't know. I, I'm shocked. Uh, I'm in shock and awe that, uh, you know, in 2021, people are concerned with how your knife opens. There's actually still laws in the book saying you can have a knife that opens with the push of a button or the pull of a locking mechanism. Like, why is that any scarier than a massive, you know, chef's knife? or something. You know what I'm saying? The way your knife opens, it, it's totally redundant, as we know. Even if I use, well, let's see. Let's do a comparison here. Here's here's how fast it is automatically. Wow, that was fast, right? How about manually? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just stupid. But like I've always said before, because people ask me, hey, why don't they just change the laws? Well, because politicians will not gain anything from it. Okay? The general public sees knives as dangerous things, right? They're dangerous things, even though all those people who hate them use them every night, you know, to prepare dinner. But uh, they don't like that stuff. So a politician, he comes out and says, yeah, I want to be governor or I am governor or senator or whatever it is. And they said, you know what? I want people to be able to have scary knives, like automatics and battle songs and stuff. And then the general public says, we're not voting for you because you're weird. <laughs> so that's how it works. It's just, it's just politics. They don't gain anything from it. So they don't, they don't change these laws. Uh, but it's absolutely stupid. Uh, you guys know me. I, I think that uh, pretty much any adult should have access to any knife they want. I also feel like they should have access to any gun they want. Um, but, uh, you know, that's wasted hot breath because it doesn't really matter what I think, right? So, anyway, <laughs> to get off my uh, little soapbox there, um, yeah, it's just really cool. I, I absolutely love it. It's too bad it's discontinued. I really wish, again, they'd bring it back or at least do more dual action models there's so many cool knives out there with the hidden you know release like i said there's bolster locks where you move the bolster uh protec has their magic which i actually have a video on you can search for that or watch someone else's video on it um we have like scale releases so you can like push down on the scale you know on the back and that will re actually release the knife and, and open automatically uh sometimes you know back in the day in the 90s they had both quality ones and cheap ones but they had knives that had like rubber inserts and sometimes like on the front rubber insert, there would actually be a button underneath it. It would just look like a rubber insert. It was no big deal, you know, and you can open it manually. Um, but if you push down into the rubber, it would shoot out. You know what I'm saying? So just really, really cool. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to uh, focus on this one a little bit. If you guys happen to, you know, see one somewhere out there on the marketplace, jump on it. It's really cool. I mean, you know, I don't know what the current value is on the serums. I want to say this is around a $200 knife when it was in production. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they'll go for whatever people are asking, you know what I'm saying? But it's just so, so cool. Manual, right? Or automatic. But again, in this particular situation, there's no, you know, button or anything. Some of the uh, access lock autos do work in a different fashion. This one is completely hidden. Again, I mean, you can roll that lock up and down. It just stops here, and you just assume that's just where it stops. You have no idea, unless you're watching this video or know about the knife, that if you just keep pulling down on it, it shoots right out. Just super, super cool. Love it. So that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comment section if you have a serum, or let me know if you have any any uh, Benchmade Axis Lock autos. They're just they're cool too as well. Uh, by the way, no safety on this. Is you know it's not necessary. Um, the pressure you need, like if the lock was even bumped in the pocket, I don't think it would be like almost impossible to not only go all the way down, but then again, have enough pressure to completely, like I can't even really do it one handed. I have to use both fingers to be able to, uh, to break that action on the inside and release that blade. So I think it's definitely safe to carry. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching again, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take it easy, guys.